Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integral here, sharing another tech tip that will help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking more about Facebook, how you can disable or completely delete your account off Facebook. In light of the Cambridge Analytica, a lot of people have been rushing to delete their Facebook accounts. But many of you probably don't know how to delete your account. You can disable your, your account, which takes it away temporarily, or you can completely deactivate that Facebook account. We're going to switch screens like we always do. Log into my Facebook account, which uh, has been showing up in my videos quite a bit, and show you how to completely deactivate or delete your account. There we are on my Facebook account. Um, Everyone is familiar with how Facebook is laid out and how to get to it. Now, if you want to, there's two ways that you can get rid of your account. You can deactivate it, which is simply by going to settings. Once you're under settings on any device, computer, Mac, or smart device, um, you can go in and manage your account. Um, you can modify your legacy contact settings or de deactivate your account. Now, deactivating your account does not necess does not mean that you are going to completely get rid of your account. It means that you're going to get rid of it on a temporary basis. So if you modify your legacy account or deactivate it, your account, you're essentially just putting your account on hold uh, so that you can either take a break from social media um, or maybe you just want to deactivate it. But let's go back. So click on Edit. And then once you're under edit, that gives you two options. The first is your legacy contact. Um, so leg legacy contact is someone you choose after you die. So if you want your Facebook account to go on in infamy, you can choose a legacy contact and um, add them. What happens is, is that the legacy contact will get an email, which... Um, they'll be able to memorialize your account. So if people want to put nice sentiments about your life or maybe you weren't such a nice person and they're going to put some horrible stuff, uh, you can definitely uh, set this option up with Facebook. Um, now you can also go in and um, request an account deletion after you pass away. And what that will do is deactivate your account once you pass away. If you click on that, you can click on delete after death and someone, uh, once Facebook lets them know, or excuse me, once someone lets Facebook know, I'll get that right, they'll permanently delete your account so that way you can set your account up to be deleted after you pass away. Because after you die, <laughs> you're not going to be using Facebook, obviously. Now, I think what a lot of people have been doing is going to deactivate account. Uh, once they go to deactivate account, you click on it. Uh, you'll have to put your account password in, and then it gives you the option to delete your account. Now, keep in mind when you delete, de uh, deactivate your account, I must have said delete. Anyway, when you deactivate your account, what happens is, is that your account is just per, uh, temporary, temporarily put on hiatus, which means anytime you go to Facebook and put your username and password, in, then your account is deactivated. When your account's deactivated, your profile picture will stay listed, your friends will stay there, uh, but um, people won't really be able to act, interact with your account. And that's not the same as deleting your Facebook account. How do you do that? Pretty simple. Well, actually, it's pretty hard to get to the remove your account. If you want to delete your account, you've got to go to the website www.facebook.com forward slash help forward slash delete underscore account. They definitely do not make it easy for you to delete your account on Facebook because Facebook wants to keep you around. Uh, they want to get all your information and make sure that they can have access to your stuff. Now, before we go forward with actually deleting the account, which obviously I'm not going to do, 
we need to go back to Facebook and do something that you that you need to do before you deactivate or uh, disable your account or delete it. I keep getting those words messed up. So anyway, let's go back to um, Facebook. Once we're under Facebook, we want to go to settings. Once you're under settings, um, you want to make sure that you download a copy of your Facebook data first before you deactivate or delete your account. What you do is you basically archive everything that you've done on Facebook, pictures, videos, you name it. Um, you want to get your information off of Facebook. Now keep in mind, if you go to delete your account after you download your information, it takes it about 90 days to actually go in and delete all the information off. So it's not an instant thing like a lot of people think. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people think that you delete the face or deactivate or delete your Facebook account, then all your information has gone. And it's not. It takes it a while for that information to disappear. Um, so keep that in mind. But before you delete the account, you can definitely deactivate it. Um, or not deactivate it, but you want to download your information and get an archive of it, which can take about an hour to get that information. Once you've downloaded your information, you can go to delete your account and click on delete your account. And it will permanently delete your account, obviously, in any apps that you have access to. As I said before, it takes about 90 days for your Facebook information to be completely deleted and your account is gone. And after that 90 day period, you will have to go back in and recreate uh, your Facebook account. Now, there is a difference between deactivating and deletion. Deactivation of your account just means that you put your account on hiatus. And deleting your account means that your information will eventually be gone. But always on both options, make sure that you download your information from Facebook before you um, click those actions to deactivate or delete. So as always, folks, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you to find out if you are going to deactivate or delete your Facebook account in light of what's happened. And if you're going to take the time to set up your benefactor to take care of your Facebook account after you've passed away. If you've got other comments and questions about tech tips, leave them in the comment section as well. And speaking of videos, which I didn't say, but I'm going to say it anyway, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, there's tons of videos there that uh, have tech tips that are designed to help you become a tech god or goddess. And we're all over social media too, sharing tech tips and tricks and cybersecurity alerts, all designed to help make the most out of your digital life. Folks, as always, take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. Cheese. And thanks for watching.